Welcome to Modern Hackers. Please subscribe and do not forget to like the video if you have enjoyed. Hello folks, this is a journey to a 3D printing model from Andrei Bezrodny, it's a Ford Mustang Unicorn cam block edition, so I will build like a real cam block car. You can see this is a pretty detailed model, so you can find on the CG Trader web page to download the STL file, including all details packed together interiors also the detailed body engine wheels rims everything stick to pack together A rolling cage frame and the interesting part that available on multiple scales including 124 for preparation to the printing, you need to think what the orientation will be of the kit. So in the new mod new printers, you have different X and Epsilon microns. For the older printers, you have only one value. And also you need to consider the layer height uh, about the precision the print you will make, about the Z uh, precision. So you need to adjust the Z according to the X and Epsilon values. So if you print on an older Mono X, the X Epsilon Z can be similar. So you can see it's also fitting for a Mono X printer. You don't need to worry about that. Just apply the show orientation. I put to the description this tutorial web page of the orientation generation. Don't worry on that. So if you apply this, add the standard support, including a standard draft with medium type of support. Everything will be okay and good. This is just a setting for an average printer. I did not do any special. Most of you were able to print this. Before slicing, don't forget to check the hollowing. Apply. It's not significant to this model because it's not filled. So it's a thin model, especially it has its own structure. But I always apply this setting, not to forget about that. And after hollowing, you can navigate to the slicing settings. Slice it. I went with standard settings with the uh, 8 level of anti-alias and it's generating now 9 hours 24 minutes it usually will be longer on any cubics don't need to worry on that and with one uh, plate of resin it's printed pretty well it came out from the printer the whole shape without any issues just to make mention. You can build your own 3D printed 124 model. So much details in it. I'm just to mention the lamps printed with a different material with clear resin. After uh, printing you need to remove the supports. It's your choice that after curing or before curing I left cure with the supports to prevent any deformation of the model. So you can see almost what we planned. Also the frame chassis came out well. Has more supports in it. You need to be careful when you cut out the support not to kill the frame. Otherwise, you need to glue together, don't worry also on that. Fit together without issues and deformations. In the hood. With this hood, you need to be careful. It's deformating easy. You, you should print the hood pretty flat and not too injured. That's my recommendation. 
de interior a shell, the cage. There he is. You can see we will have separated inner side of the wheel, separated tires. You need to make sure it's fitting in the in that internally. With some sanding needed and after it's fitting well. You need to drill a hole into the wheel center. screws, the wheel screws to fit that properly the wheel hub Inner wheel hub will have different color. The bumpers are from a classic Ford Mustang on this unicorn. It's really a classical shape in it. I mean, these are the only classic elements, and the, the main body part are only. Everything is replaced. This modern unicorn edition. The front mask with the Mustang logo, pretty decent. The radiator is also detailed. The engine, it's a real Ford engine. You need to careful how you cut out. You can cut easily some built-in parts. Don't worry, you can glue back, but you need to find out where the parts went. Some tail spoilers. The rear. Diffuser, this is the top rear wing under the body. It's interesting shape. You need to fit to the chassis properly because chassis and this diffuser are printed in a different round, different, made different temperature. So the material has to fit. Checking its fitting. You should check the parts, how it fit together before painting. It's easy to fix this stage, the preparation stage, before priming. Adjust the hood, the engine, place, remove the unnecessary materials, make basic fittings. That's the right timing to do that in this period. For every 3D printing, depends on your printer, Regardless of your printer and printer details, you will need to adjust the surface, clean the surface, sand the surface. You 
can't escape from it. So I went through with this sending machine and went through all major flat surfaces with uh, between 400, 800, 1000 grit sending heads and align the surface. For the flat surfaces you must do that and also the areas where you see some non-smooth areas. Otherwise you need to send with hand at the end before priming because if you not send it primary anyway will show it on the paint so you should you should do this. You're not escaping from it. You can get smaller sending hands. I use the Dremel machine but the heads are third party heads and I cut to the shape uh, the sanding paper so the sanding paper coming from larger machines and I cut, uh, cut and adjust it to the small machine head Based on the sending head type, you can find which areas and surfaces you can find. You can also buy smaller um, sending machines, smaller than this. This is a medium size and I also have a larger one. This is a 50 millimeter that you see now on the screen. Uh, the previous one was a 25 uh, millimeter and also exists uh, 5 or 10 millimeter ones. You need to careful not to send too much, not to go and uh, damage the edges. You need to find a great balance on them. For the mask I had to tighten, to fit in. If you print with an orientation, one edge always get these mounts and the remaining parts of the mounts. And you need to work on to these mounts, remaining support mounts to get disappear. I mark that, send it down. And where will be needed, we'll be filling with some putty later. The bumpers you can also send down with machine, but you need to be careful with the lines. If you see a line there, don't kill the line, keep the line. You should work on these 3D uh, printed materials with instant glues, so the regular uh, modeling glues won't glue them. You need to find some insta glues. Assemble the chassis took longer time than sending them, finalizing the surface. The kit uh, on the maker side doesn't have any documentation how to build this, so you need to figure out which order, how you pick. So I decided to uh, assemble the chassis uh, with the wheel and uh, train elements, uh, transmission elements, everything. For making sure I have a proper fitting length, everything set up, differential system. I had to adjust where it was needed, the length adjusted. Also check after inserting the engine the hood is 
closed or not closed or there are some deficiencies so I had to send down further the parts under the engine the transmission system uh, and uh, differential system after it's fitting well that is important that having to make a full assembly before you prime it or paint it after fitting everything perfectly the windows I think it's a big question if you make a 3d printed model how the windows will happen so I selected a different path now so uh, I had 3d printed the windows but uh, I'm not using that printed material instead of I made a 2d flat surface from the 3d printed one and the contours and I printed the contours into a masking uh, material and in the masking material I cut out and I used the transparent uh, glass plastic glass material and I will use this transparent plastic glass material as a window so I cut out now this material adjusting the material to the frame of the car to have proper fitting Now the edges of the window, the rubber edges, simple acrylic paint, acrylic pen paint, it's not hurting the material. This stage the easiest to paint it. Before priming we have to check the body with filling the holes, if there are still any holes after the sanding, so you remember one side was left with uh, the remaining parts of the supports after the supports removed so it has to be fixed I used Mr. Hobby putty when it's cured you can send it down and we are ready for Priming, whole parts, wheels, hubs, chassis, interior. When you prime the 3D printed elements, especially the wheels, after priming, you will realize if there are imperfections in it. You need to put a little bit more primer to the 3D printed parts, that's normal. Feel the material gaps if there are. I used uh, Mr. Hobby 1500 surfacer for a primer. It's pretty good sticking on all materials, including 3D printed or plastic models. It's forgiving. One of the best primers. For the mask you should not put too much primer because in this case filling the holes, the same for the radiator details, but for the spoilers, for the body, you can go with a decent amount of uh, primer to properly fill the surface. I go with 20 psi, not more. I used to print with 30 psi, but 20 psi with clean airbrush pistols, it's much better. You can get better results, less dust on the surface. The cage consumes a lot of material because it's very thin and you need to find the spot 
so you should go with a small airbrush with these details. With the 0.2 nozzle and needle airbrush for these very, very small details. Larger elements you can use 0 0.3 or 5 airbrush. For the internal shell and the, and the chassis, I went with 0 0.5 airbrush. More paint, it's consume more paint, and bigger surface, and more feeling had to apply. Looks beautiful, this uh, V8 for the engine into this frame chassis. For the body, you need to go through all details. You can see it has a special surface, spoilers integrated to this classic Ford Mustang body. So you need to carefully go through all edges, all details, and multiple layers. Due to the nature, this is a 3D printed uh, model. One round won't be enough. You need to apply, if you apply first, the whole surface, this will be the first point where you really see some imperfections. And I like the uh, grey primer over the top of white uh, resin because I see where the primer filled, so I can easily follow where the primer went into that and the thickness of the primer. You can based on the color. So if I see it's a heavy dark and heavy gray dark, uh, I know there are enough primer there. And this primer is quickly curing. So maybe after 20, 30 minutes you can send this. And after you can apply more primer, but it's applicable. Large flat surfaces require more primers, especially I will later paint with dark colors, so due to that reason you should check the surface as much as possible. But this is a 3D printed one, so don't expect 100% each perfection. You need to set your expectation to that level. On the surface there are some small uh, integrated elements like the door opener or the brand uh, logos and hood and the trunk um, closers. So I was thinking to keep or, or send this down. Um, I kept them and you need to careful when you're sending and you're painting. They're getting also paint. And you should not overpaint these closers, so you need to find the balance. We ready with episode one? Thank you for watching Modern Hackers, please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed.